This is A to Z, episode 99. Today's guests are Kaylee Viator and Amanda Berry. It's like they're here. Thanks for checking us out. A to Z is on all major podcast platforms. You can also watch us on We're YouTube. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. Literally, YouTube, anywhere. Spotify. All iTunes, the places where all digital media live, that's where we that's is. That's where we're at. That's, that's where we're right. at. And we also have a phone number. Uh, you can call or text 409-206-2971. And we are most recent happening. Oh, you said the beat guy's the back, beat right? The beat guy's back. The beat guy's back. Look, text. I really hope to find out who the beat guy is. Because they know how to cook. Uh, yeah, so yeah. he texted and said, hey, thanks for the shout out again. I really like the episode. I have Hispanic family on my mother's side. And listening to the taco dude was like listening to one of my older cousins. He said he's been to Taco Zabamba a couple times over the years and it's pretty legit. And then he gave us a sauce recipe. I'm not even going to read the whole thing out, but it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can don't, see it if you watch. Don't give us secrets. You can, if you watch the video, you can see it. It'll be at the bottom of the screen. You can pause it and steal it. But it looks really good. And uh, thanks a lot, Beat Man, for coming back yeah, and uh, and checking, you know, helping us do this thing. And, thanks for and texting us. Uh, and also, so much fun. Also, remember, like Zach said, there is that uh, that phone number is four zero nine two zero six two nine seven one. Remember, you can get us any way. You know what I mean? This is an interactive show. We would love you guys to leave your comments wherever uh, you come across us. Right? Yep. Give us feedback. We'll give you guys feedback. This is an interactive experience. If you guys have suggestions, we will take them in and. If remember, if you have guests that you want to do, give yeah. us a shout. Yeah, give us a shout. This yeah. is a totally interactive experience. That's right. All right. And on this episode, we have Amanda Berry and Kaylee Viator. Mm. Kaylee Viator is a returning guest. She has an episode. You can go back and check that out. But she brought along her friend Amanda. Mm -hmm. They have a lot in common. They have a lot different. And they have an art installation. Yeah. And the art studio is coming up. That's what this is Co -headline. about. Co-headline. Co-headline. Yeah. Um, they worked really hard on it. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a great 3D space you can walk through it and really, really experience. I suggest you all go. And it was it's a great free. time. Yeah, we, yeah. This was a great episode because it was two people that were so um, natural with each other, and they were really natural with us. It doesn't happen too often, so I hope you guys really enjoy it. Yeah. So like uh, one time I went, uh, whenever I went to Europe a few years back, I went. Oh, to, I went to Europe. I know. I, it's, I hate saying that, but it, it's it's that one it's painting. Pictures. It's like the classic painting of the woman, mm -hmm. like this, and it's just like a bush and. Corbet. Yeah, yeah. And, and I have a postcard of it, it up in oh, my was, studio. I was walking through. I was walking through whatever museum I was in, and I turn, and it's like it's in this room off to the side, and it's like at the back wall so you look into the opening of this room and you see it and I turn and I look and I'm like I knew what it was but the fucking child that I am like just giggled just <laughs> like loudly in this I nice every museum time and I just like it. I saw oh, yeah. it and go oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I beeline it and I was like look at this thing like it's classic like yeah but yeah all right, Still well, that's, that's how we're going to start it off. Hey, yeah, I like hey. it. Hey, we're talking about art, you know, mm. and, and Kaylee knew the exact thing you were talking about. Uh, I can't remember the title, but it's it was like it was, woman. It was probably like lady it's like posing. Some, something of the world, like oh, origin yeah. of the world, yeah. Oh. Yeah. but in French. True, though. So. Le origin. Le origin. Uh, well, we're here with uh, origin de terra. guest. We got Kaylee Viator back in the studio, and we have a new guest, Amanda Perry. Yeah. How are you doing? Hello. Hi. Doing really well. Y'all are doing something together, right? We a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Only for the past two and a half years, we've been preparing for yeah. it. Yeah. You've really years? been preparing for the show for two and a half years. Uh, yeah. Just about. Uh, yeah. So we booked for February first of twenty twenty mm -hmm. at the art studio. Um. Yeah, we booked it like two and a half years ago because um. We knew that. We wanted to have a show together because our work kind of... It's complimentary. It, it definitely yeah. is. And it's incidentally so. Mm How -hmm. so? Well, so Amanda lives in Houston. I live here. Um, and we won't even show each other our work for a good while. Mm -hmm. And incidentally, we'll have similar, like, themes popping up. Um. And similar things that happened to us. Like yeah. the dead bird thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We dead both had thing. incidences where a baby bird died in our hands. And we made and art, we made about, art it. about it. And then told each other about it later. <laughs> well, that's, yeah. 
That's extremely convergent. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not the only time. It just keeps on happening. Uh, so. In this show, there's several things that... Because mm. when did we start showing each other? We decided... Yeah, we told each other, like, we know we want to do a show. We have all these things that are convergent. And so we really shouldn't show each other our work because we know it's going to tie together. Oh. So We don't want to influence each yeah, other we too didn't want to influence each other, so... We really didn't start showing each other our work maybe until about six months ago. Like the work for this this show. show. I was about to say, like when you're renting out, so it's going to be the art studio and Mm -hmm. you have to uh, design your show for the space and everything. So I don't know how you wouldn't show each other your work if you're trying Um, to plan it out. I kind of like that idea. We both knew that we were going to be doing wall pieces, Mm -hmm. floor pieces. um, Pedestal pieces. Pedestal pieces. Um, We're both uh, doing installation work as well Mm -hmm. um so i've drawn out the floor plan of the gallery for her to look at and we've both just been working you know make the things even if they don't all go into the show Mm. you want to have just like a surplus of things to be able to choose from so you're gonna like before the show y'all are gonna look at everything y'all have and say okay this is gonna be Mm -hmm. here and then yeah. piece it together right before the show. Right. Yeah. That's basically. basically yeah. yeah. We're going to give ourselves like two days to install uh, a week before the show, roughly. Mm-hmm. A little less than a week. But, yeah. And then kind of just integrate our work together. Yeah. So we'll both have wall pieces, but like some Kinda will be next it. to each other. Yeah. So just based on. So even y'all don't even have. know what it's going to be. Not, not really. Not really, that's but cool. that's kind of the Look, beauty that's, of that's it. Chaos. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's chaotic. I was telling her mm-hmm. earlier, I've been saying to myself, the work is the gift. The work is the gift. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what do you mean by that, though? Explain. But, like, creating the work mm-hmm. is the show. It's not the opening. Mm. Right. That's just when everyone else gets to see what we did. Yeah. Right. But really, the for us, mm-hmm. making it, you know? Yeah. yeah. So what's, what's going to be the uh, What's going to be the theme? Of this one, of this show. So, you know, like, uh, we both, like I said, we didn't show each other our work. Mm-hmm. And so we had a conversation, <clears throat> or she finally did show me some of her work. And I think I was still in Houston at the time. And we looked at both of our works, and I was like, ooh, there's like a common occurrence of time here. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, show title. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, is that show what it's title. Yeah. That, that's the overarching title. Yeah, and then we each have. Individual titles. Mm -hmm. So my individual title is Quiescence. And mine is Yellowing. Mm -hmm. Yellowing. So both dealing with time. Yeah. So I can explain what Quiescence is if I need to. Yeah, I think you should. It's not a common knowledge. (laughs) Not a common word. So, well, the word I originally found out about from my master's thesis, Mm. uh, I was sculpting chrysalises at the time. So I'm actually wearing one right now. And if you look up the definition of a chrysalis, it's a quiescent pupa. So it's a being in its pupa state. Mm. Pupal state? Pupil. Pupal state. Pupil. Dictionary.com right yeah. here. Haley <laughs> Theodore. Uh, <laughs> she's a really awesome writer if you don't know that. But anyway. We don't talk about that. Well, whatever. <laughs> we should. But anyway, so a quiescent, qu- ugh, can't even talk. <laughs> quiescent pupa. And I looked into the definition more and... A lot of it has to deal with, like, being still, being in the moment since, you know, the being's in its pupil stage. And so I really liked that and uh, kind of resonated with that. And so kind of my show overarching is quiescence, but it's all about different iterations of time Mm. and what time can teach us uh, being present, being in the moment. Um, So that's kind of overarching what my content's about Mm. and a lot of my stuff me making the work is very meditative based stuff. So there, you'll see a lot of like repetitions of uh, geometry, like circles or textures, mm. and so like and in all each of that. Piece or through throughout the whole. Kind work. of throughout the whole piece, yeah. how, throughout the all of the works, there's repetitions of things that I'm inspired by in nature, like honeycombs, wasp nests, yeah. and we have that in common, oh, yeah. too. If yeah. you have tryptophobia, yeah. you may want don't to reconsider. Come to our show. Yeah, tryptophobias, I don't beware. I Sorry. <laughs> I don't believe anybody when they say they're trying. You know, I like, feel like it's kind have, of popular I have, right yeah, now. Yeah, I have friends, that, internet I have friends that, like, yeah. say they are and they react that way. I'm like, can you just not? Can you stop doing it? It's so silly. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like 
you didn't. Whenever you were, they take the one, you're not aware. The palm, that yeah. kind of freaks me out. That one's creepy, it's but creepy. that's it is. Well, the majority but of those that are creepy are just they're, they're photoshops. Yeah. They're yeah. photoshopping lotus pods in people's skin, and it's like, yeah, that's yeah, creepy. that's creepy. That's creepy. It's not because extra, it's not it's extraordinary. Yeah, right. of course, but it's not because there's holes. Right? <laughs> have you guys? It's because it's creepy. Have you ever watched the video of the the mama frog that lays the babies out of its back? No, Aaron. It's the best thing ever. I'll it's, play in the background. You play in the background. So what it is is it's the ultimate in like trypophobia. It's there's a there's this aquatic frog that um aren't can, most frogs aquatic? Uh no, I mean, there's tree Indians. tree frogs, you know, all kinds of frogs. Mm. But anyway, yeah. it's an aquatic frog. Um and it has like its babies, like a lot of frogs have tadpoles and they're sort of autonomous in their whatever you want to call it stage, their or left stage. This frog has its tadpoles as tadpoles attaches to its back. It forms like a layer of skin over the tadpoles, and then they form into little tiny frogs mm-hmm. in the back, and then like they eat little holes but, out of the but, out of it, but, and then okay. they come just swimming out. But and it's Doc, cool. Dr. Pimple yeah, Popper is, is like cool. one of the most yeah, popular. Cool. popular <laughs> you should videos. tell them about the apple snails. Oh yeah. What's an apple? Oh yeah. So that's so another thing she's using new. in her work. Yeah. So apple snails are an invasive snail species that came in with the floodwaters of Harvey, and so it's actually like a big mm. issue because they're kind of taking over and so they got these like they came from louisiana okay yeah so they came from louisiana uh and so basically i learned about them i found them on like the shore of a lake like can you even call it a shore the side of a lake bank yeah shore (laughs) shore bank lake bank uh anyway so (laughs) i like loved them because they're big so they're like like, they can get to the size of an apple but the ones i found are about like maybe like a racquetball size really cool yeah so and i was like oh these are really cool and then uh my boyfriend who is like uh, just a wildlife expert he really is he's like oh those are apple snails it's like okay i'll take your word for it yeah of course you know that and he's like yeah raccoon ate those (laughs) it's like cool (laughs) Cool. (laughs) raccoon ate them and (laughs) so i collected all these shells and i think i sent a picture to kaylee i was like these should be in the show you gave me one i did so it'll it'll probably creep its way in there somehow (laughs) should but then i like ended up with clay, like figuring out a way to make a bunch of these really cool snails, and then recently I made their eggs, which are even you, like, creepier. You replicate them? Mm-hmm. With clay? I just sculpted them. Yeah. yeah. So I just like coiled out some clay, and then twisted made, made it into snakes. a spiral, yeah. and then opened up the. She ain't making no Play-Doh snakes. So you Play-Doh Play-Doh snakes. snakes. <laughs> That's how you start it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, but I made them really quick, and so they ended up being little test pieces for glazes. But uh, so you'll see those, and then you'll see their eggs, which are even creepier. And if you see their eggs, you're actually supposed to drown them and kill them because yeah. they're invasive. invasive. Yeah. 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 yeah, but they're like really creepy pink eggs. Pink, like, they're like yeah. I'm trying to figure, like, out, I'm trying to figure out how an egg can be picture. creepy. Yeah. It's not great for a podcast, <laughs> but ah, we do video too. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I'm trying to figure out how an egg can be creepy. I just. I'm never seen, oh, they're fleshy. It's like I've never a seen whole a bunch of egg. them all gathered together. Oh. Does it look like caviar? Kind of? Oh, it's but it's, fleshy pink color. I'll show you pink, the one. Pink here's caviar. a tree with like just a shit ton on them. Look, oh, they like that cluster. Is kinda, yeah. Oh, they're not smooth. They look like. <laughs> I thought it'd be like smooth. Like the no. tree looks. Yeah. Like, the tree looks they're like gross. it has the worst case of, case of herpes in the world. Yeah. But so. All, a lot of these images are kind of are all you like, in, the, are you, in the show. Are you struggling over there, Zach? My gag reflex has got worse. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That's really? really cool. That's a Do visceral smell? So reaction. So I've sculpted those. Uh, oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> no, I'm, so I've sculpted them. <laughs> they look yeah. like so little styrofoam balls. I've done my own abstraction mm. of them yeah. out of clay, and I did that recently when I visited her. And so I'll have some, like, little apple snails, like, on the side of a pedestal so, or something, kind of yeah. so invading you, somewhat. So she, she like, Kayla, you use the actual items like in your work. Do you just mainly sculpt them? She will. Can, you probably I sometimes. I saw some pieces where there's like some bits I won't of wood. Sculpt and stuff. wood. Yeah. yeah. I just ugh, driftwood's so beautiful yeah. on its own. I don't have any. How can right you replicate making, it? Yeah, you know? yeah. I don't have any right making driftwood. <laughs> but I mean, we both like sometimes I'll draw the thing and that will be included. Mm-hmm. You know, we both kind of. Yeah. Do a little bit of the actual it's a object. Bit of both. I think we're both yeah. a little bit of both. We yeah. replicate it and we use the we actual. We like to collect object. it. That's for sure. But yeah, do you have like the, the the labeled 
drawers with like you, I know you have. She like has little I'm pack a boxes. little bit. Yeah, I'm a little bit nerdier that way than her. <laughs> you got labels and everything. On. No, not I don't. labels, but I definitely do have like bug boxes and I like have separate mm. jars, mineral boxes. I've got minerals in my work too. You're You've much, got jars. You're, you're a much jar more person. obsessive compulsive than I. Am. A little bit, yeah. But I'm a weird <laughs> artist that way. But not that's a lot why you're that. Organized. Like I, I've you know used ceramics before too, but you have to be really like. You're so, you have You're to be obsessive a little bit and, with yeah, it. Yeah, very like uh, there's so much testing and chemistry involved yeah. in ceramics. So I don't have maybe the patience it just goes for with that. My personality. Mm. Yeah, it, it takes, does. <laughs> it takes a lot of time. You're a little more meticulous. It's very yeah. meticulous. Yeah. Mm. But, and I love and appreciate it. But yeah. I've noticed I'm, I've noticed something in like the past few years of my life, uh, and it's like a big difference. It's one of those big like blaring. Uh, glaring uh, differences between men and women. Women seem to be a lot more morose than men, and I'm just now starting to morose? figure this out. What do you mean? Uh, Somber? Dark? Dark, like obsessed with death. You're saying we're moody? Like, no, not, not. Like, it's more, of maybe more aware. It's not <laughs> moody. It's, maybe because like, they wish death upon themselves <laughs> once a we month have the or something. No, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's a weird thing. I, 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 I find that men in general are more violent. Obvi- you know, it's obvious. Okay. It's statistically bad. Like up. aggressive? Just, like just we're more violent, passive? Just violent, but uh, women seem You're to be more, more accepting, of it. accepting of death. And it's like... Uh, we fight. Because well, I mean, we create life. Most Exactly. But mm. a lot of a you lot know? of women I know, like, really, uh, they just like skulls and dead things. And it's like, oh, cool. Yeah, I only, I only know women who collect skulls. Yeah. Really? The only people too, I know yeah. who collect skulls are women. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I know or, some men. Or like bone boxes and like uh, the, the take the uh, the ID channel. <laughs> you said bone box. <laughs> Earlier today. Files, bone box. Yeah, see? Yeah. You have a yeah. bone box. I definitely have a bone men box. Don't I have, have some bone boxes. See, yeah. men don't have bone boxes. <laughs> yeah. And it's a really strange Not to be thing. confused with boom boxes. <laughs> yeah, no, we have the boom box. But, and it's weird. And you also like watch the uh, Discovery like investigation channel and, and women are obsessed with serial killers and. That's true. It's strange. That's you know? Yeah. yeah. That is true. Weird. I don't I don't know what that I don't know what that is. I don't you know? know what that is. I don't either. either. But Psychoanalyze I'm aware of myself it. here. Right. I don't know. Maybe, but I, I am know. accepting of death. I mean, all things die unless you're like and, a rock. And we're, Which and is a are, reference you know? back to time. Yeah. And exactly. Yeah, yeah, to it is a reference back to time. It is, yeah. I and think. men don't ever accept death because Goonies never say die. You know, it's like we don't we just <laughs> I don't know. It's it's. I don't know how. I'm just sitting here like spinning no, my wheels in my head. Keep it going. Just thinking about this a really weird difference in us. Mm-hmm. I don't okay, know. And y'all have made an art form out of it. Exactly. Death. Yeah. And not decay. It's not all it's not death. death. Uh, there's it's a lot of life happening. Yeah. There's a lot of life. Well, that's so, the beauty in it, right? You know, it's, it's sure. So hers is like about it's kind of, of that process. transitional state. Mm-hmm. Um, People and of, eggs and like metamorphosis, I think. More so, but then I also have like the shells, the remains. Yeah. You have the apple there's, snail there's shells. There's a lot about time and about but it's memory all time. Yeah. in Decay both of our bones. series. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, memory. Y'all mm-hmm. deal with a piece of the cycle that most people would tend to just not really want to think about. You know, like <laughs> they, not, not the end, the death, but I like what s- comes after. I wouldn't say it's all about that. It's not. Though. It really is. It's all sorts of time, like moments in time. It is. It's all life. Mm-hmm. You know, like, uh, there's like that rebirth sort of thing to it, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, we're not directly concerning ourselves with death. Right. But more of like the cyclical nature yeah. of things. Mm-hmm. But then your work does kind of talk about like not wasting the time that you have. Too so a lot yeah like so so my installation portion for the show because um, I've just been so much more interested in working like installation wise as of late um, it's about sort of not wasting potential um, it's sort of a living room setting and there will be a figure an actual human being in the installation on um, the night of the opening um, and she'll just be positioned staring at this uh, old-school television set, like Like the old wooden stands. The TV itself has been removed, but uh, I filled it with 
crawdad holes and <laughs> there's I just sorts you of stuff. making a post saying you're looking for crawdad holes oh yeah, yeah the public response <laughs> when i need something for a show yeah, yeah. she's the world is involved. there yeah. <laughs> that's how you end up with a room full of egg crates <laughs> it yeah. is yeah. That's true. Yeah. it is i still have egg like crates, all of those beer bottles i use them as paint palettes cans. now beer yeah. cans or beer cans Recent, in the show yeah that's in the show. um so it's this living room setting there's a tv stand a lamp grandfather clock mirror um and there are all these objects that i've somehow collected one way or another over time that um i've glued and painted and just added all sorts of things to and i I keep saying the phrase like moss overgrowth so it's sort of the earth reclaiming Mm. the setting while this figure just looks on like blankly, yeah. mm. like looking into this empty TV set. Well, it's not empty, but there's no TV. Um, yeah. Like just sitting there passively being reclaimed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm cool you with You know, this. it's just yeah. a reference to people completely wasting their lives away. Yeah. yeah. So that doesn't have to do with death. It's just talking about Sources valuing death. life. Valuing yeah. life, More absolutely. So. Yeah. And then nature reclaiming, that's also life. Mm. So There's all this gold, silver, yeah. mm-hmm. everything has like this... Uh, yeah, it doesn't have a somber it. tone. No, I, I, it. When you walk into my space right now, a lot of her work is there. I'm storing a lot of it for mm-hmm. when we come to install. Um, it's beautiful in that <laughs> space right now. I'm, and I know I'm a little biased, but are y'all uh, setting up right now? Or we're like, not setting just up. Uh, like getting she's, ready, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's bringing things in. I have a space upstairs at the art studio. So you're kind um, of bringing things as you come mm-hmm. to the town. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever's Offload done. Offload some stuff. Yeah. Um, but there's so much of it in there right now, and it all is just playing off each other so yeah. well. It's just gorgeous. Just like y'all planned, huh? Yeah. Just yeah. like we Basically, planned yeah. to not plan. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Didn't have we really to. Didn't it happened have so rules. organically. We don't like well, artists. Don't like whenever. Rules. I, whenever I went to your website, uh, and mm-hmm. it's it's amandaberry.com. For anybody listening, I'll put it down at the bottom. Uh, I, I, as soon as I started going through your work, it's like, oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Like because y'all really do have like a really cohesive kind of kind of thing it's really would cool. you say we have a common occurrence of time <laughs> absolutely we definitely do absolutely there's no better way to say that actually that yeah. quiescent individual over there <laughs> <laughs> don't call me yellow <laughs> yeah okay so 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 you've kind of explained uh your theme why what what yellowing what's that are you is, you is don't your, have to say it. Is I don't whole, have to say it. No. Is it, is it giving is your away? Whole but it's set, a yellowing like, Is it like time. jaundice? Yeah. Yeah. No, not jaundice. Not jaundice. No, not um, yellowing people. Like I keep thinking about like old family photos mm. and mm. like how they just deteriorate yeah. over time. Yellow. But it's beautiful. And there's a bunch of gold. gold yeah. Similar okay. Amanda okay. says I'm in my gold period. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like uh, you're like in your sepia years. Yeah. Right? Yeah. My... Like blue period. Well, Picasso's Picasso. blue period. Yeah. Kaylee Viator's gold period. It's been going on for a while. That's fine. <laughs> I think the blue period was, I don't know, four or so years. Yeah. Hey, get that gold. I mean, get yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Go for the gold. Do y'all have any idea how much money I spend on gold spray paint? <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you I have, don't, you have gold eyeliner on. Uh, <laughs> you Thank you yeah. for noticing. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wearing it just kind of for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we I did. love gold. Uh, yeah, you there's there's I gold glitter gold. all over the <laughs> yeah, floor in my she space. She won't know that reference. You don't know Gold Member? I don't think. So. I don't awesome watch movies. Awesome yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, comedy. You hate it. You made a Goonies reference earlier, and like oh, I've yeah. seen like the first half of the Goonies about six times, but I have this like movie narcolepsy. Hmm. Yeah, oh, she as soon as you start, you just fall oh, asleep. Yeah. yeah. Which, wow. Yeah. I'm like that too, but I'll just like watch it the next day. Yeah. Like, I won't. Yeah. I think your brain, your brain is trained just to only like uh, ingest images. So when they're moving, you're just like, I'm going to tired. Yeah. We've been talking I about this a lot too. <laughs> we did talk about this a lot. Yeah. I think we're just like go, go, go all the time. So if you like let us sit down and like <laughs> and stare at like one like, like like, Yes. It's like, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like this is nice yeah comfy like have a blanket yeah. it's like we don't need to watch a movie let's just watch this the is back of our island. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand time. not being stressed <laughs> yeah like it's so like, 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 you know, the the like every time yeah. you try to do something it's like like every time I play a video game it's like I'll start playing in it and then I'll start thinking of all the other things I could be doing and then I just yeah. turn it off yeah. and yeah. go and do that they feel guilty yeah, yeah. 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 guilty about myself 
Like, right. Well, then you should. Else. Yeah. Because that's what my show's about. <laughs> that is true. It Wasted really is. Wasted potential, yeah. 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 Don't just sit there. Life's too short. Unless you want to grow some moss your on your body. Exactly. It could <laughs> happen to you, too. <laughs> it could, you know. Become a performative installation piece. I mean, a Rolling Stone gathers no moss, so you got to get go. and move, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Idle hands are the devil's workshop. <laughs> also a good movie. <laughs> I've never seen it. Idle Hands. Yeah, Idle Hands. Yeah, it's a good one. I've seen The Devil's Advocate. It's not mm. the same thing. It's not. I love yeah. Al Pacino. It's a, they both have demons. Well, uh, yeah. Al Pacino's like actually Satan, though. I think. I don't think yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's Satan. Yeah. 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 Well, you guys yeah. want to take a little break? And yeah. We'll come back. Yeah, we can break. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hey, this is Julia with Wake Up Beaumont Podcast. You are listening to the A to Z Podcast. A to Z Podcast Studios are funded in part by patrons on Patreon. If you would like to become a patron, visit patreon.com slash A to Z B M T. All right, guys. Well, we've come to the middle of the episode, and you know what that means. It's time for us to show a little bit of love to the people that show us love. Mm -hmm. That's our sponsors. Today we have Shop BMT. These are the guys. This is the city. This is who puts us on. And right now we're we're uh, we're ripping their 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 merch section. Right? Mm-hmm. They got hats. They got T-shirts. They got stickers. Really cool uh, concert posters done by the guy that did the uh, the Santo. What is it? The Santo beard. Get out of here. Yeah. Like all I the posters one, so. that you see scrolling up. It's. Uh, I want one yeah. right now. They're five dollars. Where can $5 I go? On the, Where, on the website. Where can I go? You can go to Civic Center box office Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. But they also do pop-ups around town, different events. You can follow them on their Instagram to find out where at shopbmt.tx but you can also go to discoverbeaumont.com forward slash shop and you can just order them and they'll mail them to your house just like Amazon or but I can it's just like, go pick them up right? pick them up you know talk to somebody cool. but you don't have to yeah That's so the, the choice best. is yours but remember rep your city your city's trying to do big things mm-hmm. you guys let's get out there let's get some of this merch let's get this bread yeah if we if we buy more merch they might come up with new stuff that you know that maybe they'll take suggestions maybe so yeah there. That's right. Uh, but we also wanted to do a shout out and do a little bump for uh, Space City Sprockets. It's our buddy uh, Bo Tardy over there at TV 22.4. They've been doing a lot of supportive things for the community and for us, for the, our studio. Yeah, too. they've even they've, they've aired they've some, been of airing some of our tier lists and our yeah. shows. Uh, but he has a little thing called Space City Sprockets. It's spacecitysprockets.com, and it's basically a digital transfer service. So if you have old tapes, old mini DV tapes of you skateboarding back in the day <laughs> or, or trying like, to make your own jackass you know, yeah, yeah any you know any of this old stuff you have laying around you don't want to have to get all the gear to, to capture it all I wonder and if he can transfer my laser discs he can probably transfer probably laser so. he can probably transfer a little bit of everything you can go to their website and check it out you can probably even get a quote get some prices and figure that out but it's a good service uh, especially if you're trying to do something for Mother's Day Father's Day is coming up yeah that'd be a really good gift yeah so for head sure. on over there and uh, thanks to Bo and everybody over there for helping us out I like they have but as we are right now let's get on back to the episode. Yeah. You got no, the really don't. It's awesome. Honestly, Trevor, he's super self conscious. Is about fun his, as fuck? He's, he's, is that what you're about to say? He's pretty fun. Well, I was gonna say. He is fine. Mm-hmm. That's my man. That's my man. That's my man. That's my man. <laughs> That's my man. <laughs> I mean, you. I'm gonna marry the fuck out of him. I'm just saying. We <gasps> we sweat. You heard here first. We sweated. <laughs> we sweated in each other's mouths. Okay. Mm. And we haven't. I know. I'm about just, to say. Uh, just feel do we really need to go into that? <laughs> Sorry, this is getting a little extra. So, Amanda, uh, are we recording? <laughs> yeah, no, we're about to come back on. If you I mean, you see that sign? Headphones. You gotta tell me. You see that sign? That's rude. See that sign? That's rude. Has it? Has it flickered? Well, we are. We're, we're, Does that sign we're rude flicker? People, it doesn't. I don't think it flickers. I feel like it was me. always red. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Oh, it was yeah. okay. That's kind of the idea. No, that's kind of the idea. You walk into the that's studio. That's illegal. No, it's not. You have to tell me. No, it's not. We Wait, to, you really have, to, have been have recording to, the whole time? No, not the whole time. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, we didn't. I mean, you, we have the text messages to prove that you I'm not mad accepted. about Trevor, but... No, it's fine. Well, I, the first 30 minutes out. we just talked about... I cut things out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I caught a little bit of that, and I'm going to leave it, so... I like <laughs> to set the ground oh. for, like, what... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, you're good. You know? yeah. My bad. <laughs> what makes I'm not with it. Well, now that now that Kaylee's got her headphones back on, we're we're back. We're back, guys. Yeah. Now we're back. Are we? <laughs> yeah, we're back. Let's, <laughs> let's get back into it. You know? Oh, man. 
So we're what, what, what topics did we not touch on? We're just being silly today. Yeah. But, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. I've been silly today. Two sets of best friends. Mm. That's what you're gonna oh, get. Oh, it cute. really is. We're like we're like twinsies. Like <laughs> yeah. we're best. We're both. Do y'all ever yeah. just look over at each other with like love in your eyes? All the time. I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the, it's like it's Andy today it's like was like, like stop looking at her while what? he was taking a picture. Oh, of us. our photos no. for the cover of the art studio issue are fabulous. They're gonna be good. <laughs> See, Aaron doesn't tell me that he loves me. I don't tell anyone. We that say I love them. it like we're married. We yeah, say see, Aaron, it every single time we talk. Yeah, it's like I carry all the <laughs> emotional weight of this relationship. So you're the wife. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously he likes me, or he wouldn't stuck around so long, you know. But, uh, but you but can't yeah, tell I'm, him you love him. I'm like I said, I'm a power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> power bottom. Seriously. Yeah. He generates all the power from the bottom. Yeah. You know. He's he just plays guard. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, oh, it's effective, gosh. right? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I love I love that, like, is we, it we a have, thing? I love like, that we have jujitsu. Aaron always humor brings now. up jujitsu on What do we podcast? have, Amanda? What do we have that, that they don't have? What do we have? Oh. Oh. Brown hair? I don't know. We do have brown Dude, hair. This yeah. man. Your eyes look pretty blue. Yeah, they have I got green. Bad oh, wrist bruises right now because this guy, he was like eight classes in, he was like trying to hold me down like I was trying to murder him or something. Oh, was his bruises? Are, are your bruises from his uh, grip, Hand, or was it yeah. from his elbow, or like what? Like yeah. pinning my arms to my abdomen and guard. Mm. Did you fuck him up? Yeah, I triangled the shit out of him. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. See, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It, you know, honestly, uh, we were talking about on the break how I, was, I, I feel stagnant. That's one of the biggest things I feel stagnant in is is my jiu-jitsu. And it's like uh, when was the last time you competed? Like two mm. years ago. Oh, that might be why. That might mm. be why. I can't wait. You know? Like I know I've only been doing it for a short time, but like I cannot wait to like, yeah. get out. I there. can't wait for you to do it either. I'm so excited about it. I need you to, because then I might it might make me feel guilty enough to do I've it. I've been myself. thinking about entering an eating competition. You know, <laughs> I could, see that's ambition. I could win that. You know, but uh, uh, Kaylee yeah. could win that over me. I Sorry, mean, we don't have that in common. I mean, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just trying to get off. The I can't. I can't know. do it. Get subject. off jujitsu. Look, now we, can we talk get about it. it. Y'all practice Me and Kaylee can talk it's about fun. this now. But, <laughs> like, I feel like it's really beneficial to my creative process, too. Mm-hmm. Really? You know? how, have um, you put, how have you put, how has jujitsu changed your work? It hasn't changed my work. It's changed my work ethic. Mm-hmm. How so? I mean, I, I'm always, I've always been, like, pretty good work ethic. But, uh, you know, I was telling Amanda today, like, I, I go to jujitsu three to four times a week. Mm-hmm. Yoga, I go twice a week and I teach twice a week. I lift weights twice a week and I have a full time job. Wait, where are you teaching yoga right now? Wellness Center. Oh, the Wellness Center? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I've been doing yeah. that since uh, the last time I talked to y'all on okay. the air. That's right. Uh, but you know, it's a lot of time doing other stuff and also working on this show. Mm-hmm. But it, honestly, it's more energy. I have more drive to do it. Like I'm more motivated, mm-hmm. ambitious. Disciplined, I think, is the word. Disciplined. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get a, you get this sort of energy from it, like the same energy you would get from going to church, right? I don't uh, know. That that uh, there's that. What's church? Church. It's that thing <laughs> we went to when we were kids. Uh, yeah. No, the camaraderie, right? Like when you when speaking you, of thirsties, there's a shitload of beer cans in my installation. <laughs> so, they're all from so there. that's kind of part of the stagnation. Yeah. Quite don't possibly. talk about thirsties like that. I'm not Just because you go to a bar for seven years doesn't mean you're stagnant. Right? But right. not things. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Amanda, how, how often do you drive in from Houston how, <laughs> to get ready for the show? Uh, <laughs> this is definitely the most I've been to Beaumont yeah. in a while. Like, my dad lives here. but I mean, you've been here, what, this is the second time that you've came down to, like, really talk about yeah, the show? Yeah, she came to Houston a little bit, but, yeah. But it's, it's mostly probably. been, like, a picture here or there, us yeah. texting each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... But I'll come probably maybe two more times. Mm-hmm. Maybe before just the once. show. Yeah, yeah, before the Drop show. I figured you had to have something so. here for y'all to be best friends as long as. You- <laughs> so yeah, we went to art school together. Yeah. Mm. Um, drawing one. Twelve years ago. Twelve years. ago. I know. We started college. We weren't always as close as we are now. You went off That's to SFA true. for a bit. Was there for a little bit, and, and then, then I came back. Came back. Friendship. Blossomed. Mm-hmm. What a cute word. Blossom is a cute word. Blossom. Um, dead, dead and then, blossom. Dead, and then dead you moved to Houston yeah. to go for your master's. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, I did my schooling in radiology, mm-hmm. and we graduated the same semester. 
mm-hmm. from our respective. After you said completely fuck art. different degree points, <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> fuck art. No, I said how can I support myself while I make art? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, and now I realize I can make art to support myself. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Um. Well, you had to you had to put art on other people's skin to support yourself, right? Yeah, it's great. It's a wonderful world. Yeah. Um, Taylor does tattoos, if y'all didn't know. I think they know. <laughs> yeah. But I don't the know. Listeners, I think, the I listeners. Think, yeah. I, that's what I meant. <laughs> I, I think that tattooing's kind of changed the way that I approach the show a little bit. Mm. Um, so most of the work, I guess, is me gluing objects to other objects more so than drawing or painting. There's some of that still. You're constructing it, you know. Let's yeah. Not, let's it's not like be reductionist building. here. Yeah, yeah. You're, <laughs> gluing stuff to other stuff. Yeah, you're not, That's what I always say. <laughs> I like that. Say that. It's not too. popsicle stick, you know, no, crafts. Yeah. You're like, it's, you're constructing it's it. It's very yeah. calculated. Yeah. Assemblage. Use that I still word think more. of it as painting. Really? But painting with objects. Like, yeah. I, I sure. weave. It's a mixed medium. Uh, you know, I weave, like, ribbon or uh, straw or sticks around other objects. And, like, okay, a pearl goes here. Some moss goes here. I need to melt some wax on this. Uh, pour glitter and then pour resin on top. Yeah. Spray paint all over that and then more wax on top of that. And it's... It's a process for sure to make something look like it happened naturally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's hard to do, actually. It is. Yeah. That's really hard to do. Yeah. Um, you know, because nature, I mean, while nature does operate like within the rules, and that's why you have all those those cool fractals and things that happen and all those patterns like honeycombs you were talking yeah, about earlier. For sure. uh, but I mean, nature also has randomness in it and as you like know, how beings, a vine grows how do you around make, something how do you make something yeah. look we, random we just like we can't even we you can't, close even, your we can't eyes. even do it you know <laughs> you yeah randomness up. randomness actually doesn't even exist in our brains no yeah. one can be no. random ever that's what with, with the uh, iTunes right whenever iTunes was first coming around like like around the tens, yeah, twenty tens. Uh, they they had a lot of like people pissed off at them because their uh, their random. Uh, their random play on their like your their shuffle mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. would keep playing like the same stuff, and and like they thought because it they was had, actually random. They had a because shitty out. It, it was based on algorithm. Because they, no, you, no, they, it wasn't. No, it was no, just literally used, random. Well, you yeah. can't make a random algorithm. Uh, but they yeah. they they made they made an algorithm because it's Apple. They made an algorithm that was as r- close to what random is as possible, and mm-hmm. that's what ended up. So they actually had to make their algorithm less random less to random. make it more human. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Yeah. We can't. We can't do it. Like the same reason why. Like there's no straight lines in nature. We just. That's our our brain. You know. We can't yeah. even. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's weird. Even though we're chaotic, we just we can't do random. It's, it's weird. Yeah. I like it. Everything you ever think about is predicated on an earlier thought you ever had. Sure. Right. Yeah, there's a structure. I mean, we're all just it. responding. Like like yeah. as artists, we're responding to art history and the world around us. Mm-hmm. You know. Or, so, or your interpretation of it. I mean, yeah, like, why would you definitely. sculpt driftwood? Yeah. What? What? But what you got? Know? Like, I mean, maybe y'all have a similar kind of story. But what? Had, what pointed y'all in the direction of the style that y'all use? Like, uh, was it? Have y'all been doing this since you started, or like, well, we there both, had to have been something that steered y'all toward this style of like taking these things from nature, like natural objects, and putting yeah. them into our art. I think um, all artists are just obsessed with everything that they see so like yeah yeah. just seeing seeing the beauty and everything i mean so i think most artists obviously are connected to nature Mm -hmm. uh so but we we attack it very different ways because we're trained differently so like i'm trained as a ceramicist and she's trained as a a painter painter. yeah Yeah. ceramicist and sculptor i I gotta so she's more in the three-dimensional world Mm. more two-dimensional and Mm -hmm. and for me um I just got so tired and exhausted from living only in two dimensions. Mm. And so I started, uh, you know, building up the paint, gluing different objects onto it, painting over the top, 
and um, just trying to climb my way it's out of the two dimensional world. Uh, yeah, so and I, I feel the same way. Like, yeah, I, I won't let people usually call me just a ceramicist. I want them to call me a mixed media artist. Yeah, uh, because I don't just make functional pottery. Like, I think we just don't like being in boxes. We don't like being in boxes. That's really what it boils down yeah. to. Yeah. Like, I, I cringe when someone calls me a painter. I cringe when someone calls me a tattoo artist. Mm. Yeah. I feel like I'm— but We don't about, want to be—we just want to be artists. Like, just yeah. call us uh, artists. What about when they say tattoo <laughs> artist? I do like saying tattoo. I've kind of started saying <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think like, about Damn it, Aaron. Yeah. yeah. But it is true, because I feel like, okay, this show we're doing one thing, but who's to say we're not going to do something completely sure. different on the next right? show? Like, hey. Hey. And we both have <laughs> two-dimensional work in the show. We both have three-dimensional mm-hmm. work in the show. Mm-hmm. Um, we're both playing with different media. We're both using found objects. We're both doing installation work. We're just both doing it from completely different art background you're flexing yeah we're flexing that's what this yeah, yeah that's what the whole thing is is you're flexing we're mm-hmm. flexing you know yeah it's a it's a uh it's an exercise and then it's yeah I mean, is this why the first, would you just do one thing is this the first show you all have ever done together together yes yeah. oh. so we've known we've wanted to do one for this a long time like i said we booked it, it like is. three years ago yeah so, that's so crazy. Um, like, is, is our studio, like, booked up for that many years yeah, out? Yeah. You know? That's about two normal years normally. For, two years. Yeah. Yeah. That's normal for a lot of wow. galleries. Yeah. Well, and if you think about, like, September is the tenant show. Yeah. The December is the Christmas sale. They probably only do, like, three or four shows a year. Like, four yeah, like shows. Yeah, like, solo yeah. artists mm-hmm. or, like or exhibits, two people. Yeah. Or, like, yeah. installations, yeah. 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 There's not that many shows. Yeah. yeah. There's the so, membership show and cool. then the person that won the membership show the year prior. Mm-hmm. The alternative show is June. Show. So really, it's just February, March, uh, October, November. Mm. Four, like, specific Major, artists. Yeah. And then five, counting the winner of the juried show. Mm-hmm. Anywho. So, it makes sense when you put it out like that. That we will be the first show, the of, show. The, of the season it for 2020. Be. We're opening up 2020. February 1st. Really perfect vision. Guess. New year, new show. Who dis? <laughs> 2020, right. perfect vision. Yeah, we want you to think about time. (laughs) What you're doing with yours? It will be beautiful. I can't wait to see all of it in the gallery and us take those couple of days like installing everything. No, just gonna be like putting everything just so. (laughs) Yeah, we'll probably cry. cry. Yeah, Yeah, really? Yeah, Yeah. probably. (laughs) I cry a lot. Yeah. We're emotional people. We're artists. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah. how you're able. Women, how, so. Yeah, that's how we're able to make work like that. Yeah. though. like we want to move people. That's true. And yeah. so Absolutely. to move people, you, you yourself have to be moved. Yeah. Very that's true. right. Very true. <laughs> uh, what, so what? What day? What day is uh, the show? It's a Saturday. It's seven o'clock. On seven February to ten. First. Yeah, February seven first. Hey, 10, that'll February be your two-year anniversary. It sure will. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. For y'all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For Two years since, oh. since uh, Trevor's episode came out. Yeah. Oh, oh that's right. Oh, uh-huh. Episode one. He was number one. Yeah. He's going to come back. My big thing. Yeah. We're going to do a smash. Well, on that day? We're going to drop it on that day. day. Yeah, he's busy. <laughs> well, that he day, doesn't sorry. have to be here that day. <laughs> no, no. We're, we're going to do it beforehand. We can like drop this. it on that day. So we got to get this one out before then. So this is coming out in January then. Okay. Yeah, our show's February 1st. It's mm-hmm. up through the yeah, most going? of February. Let me check my calendar really fast. I would hope it would be a while. I mean, how long? You guys got to be a lot of stuff. So much Dude. work that goes into yeah. it, yeah. It'll at least be up through the last Saturday of February, which is the 23rd. So we'll about, probably be taking down the last week of yeah. February. And these pieces mm-hmm. are going to be for sale? A l- some of Many like, of them. Yeah, the installation base so, is a little bit harder. But yeah, 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 yeah. So a lot really of the wall-based cool pieces and decorations. <laughs> <laughs> still based stuff will be for sale. Yeah. Yeah. So, but installation-based stuff, it's a little tricky. I, yeah, that's yeah. really more for us. You can't yeah. like, so, like, your, like your snail either. eggs on a podium. That's yeah, going to be. That's not, yeah. yeah, I'm not like, oh, you, you can, can turn them into that. fridge magnets. Yeah. Please don't do that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You know, a lot of our, the show is my heart a little. I'd, I'd buy that fridge bag <laughs> just, just to get this response. Just to get time. that? Oh, because he's so freaked out. Just to sniff right. out the we weak talk, people we in the room. I think like, a lot of the show like is kind of, <laughs> a lot of the show is kind of recycled. Yeah. You mm. know, like a, like a lot of my three-dimensional pieces are ceramic pieces that I had started a while back mm. and then kind of reinvented. I think we'll probably take the pieces from like our installations and deconstruct them and reinvent them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. You're definitely got a lot more installation based. Stuff. Yes, I do. I have mm. more semi-traditional pedestal pieces, mm. wall pieces. 
I say semi-traditional. Y'all will see them. Or I guess y'all saw some. Yeah. There's more that you haven't seen. <laughs> Ooh. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. <laughs> it's going to uh, be really fun. There are tickets or No, anything? it's free no, and it's open free. to the public. Oh, uh, oh, refreshments will be served. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah and y'all are going to be there to like explain like what the hell people we'll are We'll be around. At. We'll have our statements on the wall. So definitely yeah. when you come in, you sign a book. The saying uh, is like, Read don't our wall hassle. statements. <laughs> Her Sorry? statement, mine, they're and say, then They're saying don't hassle statement. us when you come to the show. <laughs> Read our statements first. Read our statements. Look at the art. Please don't ask stupid questions. They, these are not that you can find answers. These are not timid story. ladies. They will they will rip your head off. If you come in there and Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh goodness. Well, I mean, you know, I think uh, I think it's about time to wrap it up because I'm yeah. about to have to go teach these kids. You know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, them kid Got to triangle the shit out of people. Yeah. I, uh, right. Actually, today is arm bars. I'm teaching them arm bar. Yeah. Break nice. them all bones. From S mount. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, well, Amanda Kaylee, thank y'all so much for coming. Thank y'all. Thank you fun. for having us. Appreciate it. I hope you guys start your own podcast, like A to K. Yeah. We yeah. should do A that. A to K. AK47. AK47. AK. Yeah. AK. Yeah. AK. 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 What about Ka? Ka! <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and your logo that would can just be, be like a, a right. bird skull. Yeah. Or you know? like With a. With two heads. What cause? Just any bird or a crow? Uh, a crow. I think a crow. A crow. Yeah. Is, K, a crow is, is KA like a racist thing? Ka. Is it racist? K-A's? Why do you assume that it's so. racist? K- K- well, it's like ABs Ka. or something like that. You know? ABs. <gasps> KA sounds I weird. I don't, I don't know. Reinvent the reference. your world. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the initials, okay? Some people have initials and flags Get and stuff. Out. Oh, yeah. We don't care about and them they, at all. And they, like, they hold on to them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't care about that. Anyway, so that's A to C. And we'll see y'all in the outro. What did you say? Should we say bye? We'll yeah, no, nah, I mean, you, nah, he just you said, can say bye. See on the outro. This is all look at the, We're going to cut the, this. And the, then okay. we're just do we can all outro. wave at the camera. Everybody wave at the camera. Oh, no, you wave at oh, this one. camera. Where? Y'all yeah. wave at this camera. Or that oh, one. Hey. Okay, ready? Hey, bye. <laughs> bye. 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 I'm ready. Yep. I'm ready whenever you are, brother. Okay. I'm ready. Look at me. All right. Thanks, Kaylee and Amanda. Yeah, uh, thanks for coming Jesus. on the show. Thanks, Kaylee and Amanda. <laughs> and you can go on over to the art studio February 1st. It's a free show. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, we saw some examples of, like, what they've done and everything, and it's really, really, it looks like a really interesting work, and there's going to be a lot. Of, I mean, I'm excited. I'm going to go. I'm excited, too. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh, it's going to be great. Kaylee's last show I went to was amazing. Mm-hmm. So I know if they team up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know. What else are you going to do that? Uh, I mean, come on. But anyway, you know what else is amazing? Mm. Our patrons. Mm. Yes. You guys are. are so amazing. You are an integral part of our studio. Very true. You, without you, we couldn't do any of this. We're growing. I would refuse to. I would refuse to as well. And as our studio is growing, our space is growing, the mm. amount of people putting podcasts out in our space is growing. Guess what's also growing? Our number of patrons. Oh. Um, you know, so we have a special shout out. We do this at the end of every episode. We have our patrons. We have Jordan Stringer, Lance Killian, Brian Castino, Doug Waldrop, Michael Sarb, Ben McClellan, Randy Edwards, Allie Gillette, Alice Pierce, Lauren Bebo, Allie B, and our newest patron, Jay Wesley Harden. Golly. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Round yeah. of applause. Um, a lot of you guys have been doing this for a really long time. Mm-hmm. This is 2020. It's a new year. You guys are still here. No one's like, no one stopped. Mm-hmm. No one stopped doing this. It's amazing. Um, and sincerely, thank you very much. And if you're interested in becoming a patron, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash A to Z BMT, where you can pledge a dollar, five, 20, whatever, one what time, reoccurring. Yeah. Um, and just be a big homie. You know what I'm saying? Just help us keep these lights on. Big homie. Yes. Uh, next episode, the, oh my God, Aaron. Did a to we Z did it. 100. We did it, my dude. We did it, bro. Next episode. And guess what? We got some special 100. stuff planned for you. Um, wow. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a party. It's going to uh-huh. be, we've been talking about doing a telethon style thing, you know? Like, uh, I mean, I we imagine, have a phone number already, you know? We already have a phone number. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're just going to, we're going to put together some segments, interlock them in. We're going to have, hopefully, some people calling us in. Yeah. It'll be an interactive experience. It's going to be a variety experience. show. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a variety Thanks show. You. And we're just going to have fun with it. It's going to be a celebration. Mm-hmm. So come back next time yes. for A to Z 100. 100. 100. We keep it at 100, 100. y'all. 100. 100. You heard? Jeez. Right. But that's been it. Thank you, guys. Come back and see us. Come on back now, you yeah. <laughs> It's going to combine every <laughs> I'm just going to do it. It's going to be like a feedback. You want me to do another one? 
I'm Reba. <laughs> you want me to pull it back from way far away? <laughs> that's totally out of context, and nobody's gonna get it. If, okay, if anybody no knows, one's gonna get if it. If anybody knows what that's from, uh, I will buy you a shot and a beer at Thirsty's. Yeah, yeah. If anybody says what episode that's from, yeah, that's Done. Bye. Word.